Hi everybody and welcome back. Yes, it is series two of our autumn what did I pick up series. So today we have H&M, we have some Everlane, we have some Uniqlo and a little bit of Zara that I forgot. So anything odds and pieces I'm gonna add in here too but it's made mainly H&M. So stick around, you're gonna love it. Welcome back. Yes, it is amazing to be back again and thank you so much for your response on my last video and this is series two of our autumn haul of what to buy. And this little top here is one of it and I love the neckline on it. But before we do all that, we're going to give a huge shout out to Alaria MA82. Hi Alaria. Thank you so much for your recommendations on my handies on my last video. I really, really appreciate it and to everybody else. Now, fragrance of the day is, it's autumn, I love coziness, I love warm and cozy. This one, Gris Charnel by BDK, I promise you, is like somebody just took their arms and wrapped them right around you. It's absolutely beautiful, it's right up there. One of my top, along with um, Armani, Privé, and uh, the pink one that's in my head right now. But this is so beautiful for autumn if you're in your beautiful cable knit jumper yeah it's got amber it's spicy it's got vanilla tonka bean it has definitely got cardamom which makes it powdery it has fig and black tea it's, it's quite spicy it has vetiver and iris in it too a beauty for christmas if anybody likes that kind of a powdery beautiful smell it's absolutely delicious is all i can say now without further ado let's get started this let's get started with this top this top i just love the neckline i really really do i think it's very flattering little kind of sweetheart here and she comes right up and it is ribbed and it was in I think it was in the premium section in H&M to be very honest I never shopped in the premium section before in H&M because I didn't actually buy a lot in H&M before and then I saw a few YouTube videos and I was like oh my god what have I been missing the quality is amazing this top I actually wore it out the other night tonight or today I'm wearing it with my beautiful fairly gamo belt and I feel like I'm going to be wearing an awful lot and by the way these Uniqlo trousers which are the ones that were viral you know the black full length I'll be doing cutaways so you'll see them properly but they're the wide leg and I'm wearing them with oh my god beautiful little ballet flats from H&M that I'm also going to be showing you but this top ribbed fitted just a really really beautiful party top for Christmas for any night out the party season coming up but it's comfortable it sits beautifully it's flattering and you know you need to feel comfortable when you're going out so this piece I will link everything down below so don't be worrying about that and as I said it is just gorgeous if the pieces are out of stock maybe I'll try and link something similar we know how fast H&M Zara and all the rest of it how fast their stuff go so I will try and link everything that I have but this grab it if you can I think mine is in the size medium if I'm not mistaken or like so it's pretty much true to size and the trousers I have to say were pretty much I was happy with them and they're Uniqlo as I said but I will do a cutaway because you can't see me here so definitely definitely very happy with this you know one of those pieces you just pull out your wardrobe and you go yes you when you when you pull it out of your your haul if you like so the next piece I bought now in my last video I was saying how I hate polyester and I do but as you know H&M a lot of them now the premium they have a lot of stuff like wools and they have even now cashmere and they have elastane and they have nice cottons and stuff these ones are kind of a i just thought you know what i'm gonna get these just for hacking about i've heard so many good things about them they are polyester okay but i love the color of them and they are that wide leg pant again they have to be pressed they're only out of the, the box so they're that wide leg that i just like so these ones obviously they're more casual for me and they're just very very light cop we have very warm weather at the moment it's not typical of our kind of autumn but it's up on 20 degrees so just for that kind of weather if you just want some hack about these are nice and I mean they're, they're you know they'll do the job for a short period of time and uh, yeah I was quite happy with those even though as I said I don't generally buy them now jumping on to this little beauty oh my god so we all know the Kate cardigan and how viral that went and there was no way of paying I think that's now 1500 euro if I'm not mistaken so H&M brought out this in their premium section beautiful Kate style cardigan it is 100% wool look at the sleeves it is divine it is the most beautiful kind of wide cuff here with the little knit on it it's 
it's structured. It goes in at the waist, even though I got it in the size large. I kind of think I should have got it in the medium. I wasn't sure because it's a fitted style cardigan. It's oversized, but it's still fitted, if you know what I mean. It has the beautiful pockets here, just like Kate has. And uh, it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to put it on for you. So I thought, you know what? I will wear this cardigan with a white tank top, white tank top, white t-shirt and jeans. I'll get so much wear out of it. Look at the sleeves. Like they're just gorgeous. Exactly like the Kate cardigan and 100% wool. Really, really premium quality. Now I'll just do it up for you just for so you can have a look. And as I said, has the little pockets here. Now let me know actually, you can help me out. It is cinched in at the waist. It's supposed to be cinched in. Did I get it a little bit too big or is it? So I thought the shoulders were a little bit too big. I don't know if it's too late now even to change it. But I was thinking to myself that it might be nice if I want to put something underneath it. Whether it be a hoodie, whether it be anything else. So let me know what you think. That's herself. I absolutely love her other than that. She also comes in a black and a cream. But I said I had got another black one. I will show you that in another haul. I've only one more haul to do and then we're back to bags. Just to let you know if you're if you're sick of the, the hauls. I just wanted to show you what I got for autumn. That's why I'm doing these hauls. And then I want to show you what bags I want to use for autumn. So stick around for that as well. Because this baby is doing... I already had her out today. Like unbelievably. Yes. That is my beautiful H&M cardigan. It was something like $79.95 or $89.95. One or the other. But again, I will have links for her down below. This is cosy. Like it's just one of the white, crisp white shirt, crisp white t-shirt, white tank. Or even if you want to wear it, something like this. And you're just lounging around and you're just answering the door. But you're dressy, but you're not dressy. But you're, you know, you're put together. So very, very happy with this buy, I have to say. Moving on. Again, I have to stop watching YouTube videos but I had seen this on another girl now I have to say I don't think this is in anymore but I found her actually on the sale rack this is 100% linen you may find her now I will obviously not well I might actually wore it the other day to be very honest because I was telling you it is um, warm in Ireland at the moment so this is 100% linen somebody else had told me about it I was like oh my god love linen love this kind of oat kind of stone color I just absolutely love it and I wore it with the sleeve just cinched up like that pair of jeans out the door do my errands really and you're put together you look smart you look lovely goes with black pants goes with jeans goes with absolutely everything it's light it's cool very Miami Vice I have to say so I was very happy with this jacket I could see her me wearing this in the summer even over shorts going to the airport it's light it's airy it's fresh and as I said, 100% linen. So this was one of those jackets that was, I think, 125 euro. And I got her, I was very, very lucky, got her for 65. So just that beautiful stone, kind of light beige kind of color. Really, really fabulous. I absolutely love this jacket. Now, moving on from there. And you will have seen this shirt that I'm going to show you next. You saw that I wore it in my last videos, video before when I was telling you where I was about my handies and stuff. So this shirt is a H&M. I got her in the side large because I want to use her oversized and she's very oversized actually so for any of you who want I think she's she's already oversized before you even go and kind of get so just again I always pull the sleeves up I hate them down it just really does my head in for some reason but I wear it like that collar up if you can and again very cash the stripes are divine and I just think this is a real it's a really nice buy it feels lovely and light it's kind of like a satin material and the navy and white with the button like you can't go wrong with a button down you just can't it's one of those items the layering in autumn is so important that it's like oh god it's going to be hot today is it going to be cool is it going to be cold is it going to be whatever way it's going to be so if it's a little bit cool you can throw a shirt on if you get into the office or work or wherever you're going you take it off you can have a nice little top underneath you know it gives you options whether it be a tank top a t-shirt again anything the layering is mwah, chef's kiss so that is herself then I got let me see what else have we got have we any more from H&M no I don't think we have any more from H&M at the minute but I wanted to show you I forgot this beauty I don't know how I forgot this beauty my last one but I got and went with ladies and gents I don't know if you're into it tell me tell me what you think and tell me when I put it on what you think so what are you all thinking about the denim skirt trend because I did the denim skirt trend the first time around this is Zara by the way if you're getting confused this is Zara so I wasn't sure if I was going to do the denim skirt trend the second time around. So I said, oh, Viv, I don't know, I don't know. But I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. I loved it the first time around, which was like 20 
to years ago. And then this time I said, yeah, do you know what? I put it on. I was like, oh my God. I said, I get it. I ordered it online. I said, I'd get it. And if I don't like it, obviously I'll send it back. So I ordered the one with the boxer style waist at the top. Now, if I don't like that, I can either take it off or cut it off because I actually love the wash of this one. I will again link it down below for you. I love the slit that it has here and I think this would be gorgeous with knee high boots with trainers, white trainers, black knee high boots, ballet flats, so versatile, a black turtleneck, a black shirt, a white top, denim jeans, so many way, ways to wear this denim skirt and if you would like me to do a styling video on denim skirt, I would do that for you. But I actually love it. It was when I put it on, it's that really, it's actually a little bit too big to be honest. I don't think they've any left, but I'm gonna keep it. I don't care, I get it taken in. It is that wash that's soft and I just love that medium kind of wash because you can kind of dress it up and dress it down. And yeah, it's, it's soft. I think there must be some elastane or something. I think there is, I think that's why it's a bit big for me. But I just love it and I will be rocking it with my high boots or my trainers or my ballet flats and I just wanted to, but let me know. I'd be interested to know what you guys are thinking of the whole denim skirt. Do you think, you know, is it, you know, fad? It's gonna be, I just think, you know, black biker jacket. Oh, the options are endless. <laughs> Now, the next thing I got, moving on to this little beauty. This one is from River Island, but I wanted to do a slight kind of compare and contrast because I also got one from Cezanne. So I had seen the Cezanne ones and I was like, oh, that's beautiful. But before I had kind of got the Cezanne one, I had picked up this River Island, okay? So now I'm gonna do a side by side first. So we've got River Island, which was slightly cheaper. What was the river? How much was the River Island? 12 pounds sterling. And then the Cezanne, I'm not sure, I'll put the price down below, but it was, it was more expensive. It could have been 30 euro or something like that. So we've got River Island, which is more of a cream navy stripe. It's definitely longer. And then the Cezanne one is more of a racer back. I'm just looking here. And then the ribbing at the top, if you just see, is very, very different. Now, what I've noticed, and I will put them on for you, is that this one is definitely more, more structured. The material is definitely thicker. The quality is definitely better. If you prefer a more of a white, and I think it's navy or is it black? No, it's navy. It's white and navy and the ribbing, as you can see on the neckline, is kind of more, more close together, which makes it, I suppose, more structured. The racer back is definitely more narrow on the Cezanne to the River Island. So it's amazing to see side by side the actual differences between, you know, not that many, but some would say, you know, the devil is in the detail and that's why a certain top would look 10 times better on you than another one or that one may go out of shape. Like this one is gonna, I'm gonna wear this absolutely. What I'm saying is it might go out of shape quicker than the Cezanne because I'm just noticing the structure here, how close the stitches are and all those little details really, really are what make the garment fit. Either fit really well or fit like crap you know now the next piece I wanted to show you is from Everlane and again these were the Everlane pants that everybody was talking about everybody got can't remember the actual name of but these are really good quality and they're a bit more expensive anyway they're, they're kind of like the chino heavier kind of material there's definitely cotton it's their wool in them I'm just gonna have a look but even now compared to the other H&M ones you can you can tell the difference straight away but I'm just gonna look at the I'm, I'm going to terrible everywhere I go lately I'm looking at the the composition so machine wash and it is tensile 60% tensile 40% cotton this tensile everybody is talking about at the moment is supposed to be a great material it's I think it's pretty new correct me if I'm wrong but everyone it's a more sustainable material but it's supposed to be really really good so tell me anybody if you got these Everlane trousers and here we go the wide leg again in the pant of course they have to be steamed the back they have the two beautiful little pockets and then they have the darts and the side pockets at the front and I just love them these are the white shirt now and again my white trainers or something just really really smart and I just know these are going to be comfortable because they're quite a good thick material and and, uh, they just feel good quality so I will try those on for you also so that's it ladies and gentlemen I just want to talk a little bit about these two bags I wore this out yesterday and I, I styled it up with a few of my outfits as well and guys if you're on the fence about this bag Dragon Diffusion get off it it's fab the only thing I will say is this might annoy you I have brought it out look I have receipts I have everything Oh, receipts, the H&M one is after falling on the floor. Receipts, I've everything in here, gloves, all the rest of it. What else have I got in here? 
another little pouch. Yeah, lots of stuff in here, right? Now, the only thing is the opening itself at the top is quite small. That might annoy some people. Look, I have my umbrella. I do have an umbrella in here, actually. Or did I take it out? Oh, I must have taken it out. I had a small umbrella in here yesterday. A small umbrella fits perfectly lying down, but when you're standing it up, it kind of sits up here. So that might annoy some people, but you can put it in lying down. Great little bag, beautiful chocolate brown. I'm in love. It's pure my style. I mean, compared to the other bags we're buying, this is just a gem, a real gem. And again, I'm loving my Ateliers Augusta, I have to say as well. Just the colors, you know me in brown, just love it. So I'm loving this one as well, all the French bags. The other ones I love are the Demelier. A few of the Demeliers are absolutely gorgeous, the APCs. French, um, like I have to say, have to give it to them, their quality is amazing. So that is another beauty. So I will be doing a handbag collection of what I'll be using in fall, that's coming up. And I have one more haul video that is going to include Cos. Arquette. There are a couple of things and pretty little thing. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, do come back and thank you, thank you so much for all your support and until next time, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.